Now I've already made a video about Bethesda's Fallout 76 patch notes that they published on their website, but it turns out that Bethesda has done a lot more changes in terms of player damage reduction, legendary weapon spawning, and even more without actually telling us. Basically secretly patching the game and changing things without anyone knowing. So in today's video, IESO will cover these changes with you, or at least the most important ones that you're going to want to know about. So firstly, fusion cores will now drain faster. I've not calculated how much faster yet, but it's definitely faster. To be honest, I'm kind of glad this change was made, simply because in Fallout 76 you can wear power armor indefinitely and fusion cores are so common anyway, I don't think this is even going to be an issue for you. Another bug that was fixed was fusion cores resetting every time you log into Fallout 76. Basically your fusion core would just be set to full, so now that's been fixed and it won't happen anymore. And now we have the second chain. Unfortunately, legendary weapon spawns have also been reduced, which means enemies who are legendary actually spawning into your game for you to fight. To be honest, I thought this was fun to actually have, and even though the legendary loot that they dropped was random, at least I still got a fun battle every now and again. But now obviously you're even less likely to come up against a legendary enemy in the wilderness, but don't worry guys, this doesn't actually really affect my legendary farming guide that I made last week, since the game will still deliver your legendary weapons for completing the events that I listed in this video. And the game still seems to normally spawn in the amount of legendary weapons in the locations I also listed and tested after this patch. So that video is still working and if you want to know more about legendary weapon farming, go ahead and watch that. Other rare items like plans will also be spawning less and be rewarded less in events. Personally, I think this is a bit crap because I didn't find I was getting too many plans as I was playing the game normally anyway. And now, the third change. Next though we have some damage changes, the biggest secret changes in this patch. Characters now over level 50 will do even less damage, in both player versus player and also player versus environment. In my opinion this kind of makes the game just less fun and it almost punishes you for being a high level player. They're basically trying to copy the Elder Scrolls Online and it's just, they've just done their maths completely wrong and it just feels ugh. Stealth attacks have also apparently been nerfed, so you'll now do less damage with sneak attacks and this is probably a good thing, to be honest, considering the amount of people I've one hit killed in PvP and there's literally nothing they can do about it. But to be honest, if you know what you're doing, you can still one hit kill people just, just because some of the weapons in this game are so ridiculously broken. Melee damage has also been reduced further too, which I think is a little bit crappy in PvP if the opponent is wearing armor, because there are still weapons like the Black Powder Rifle or the Dragon that I can one hit kill people with even if they are wearing armor. And it's just like, where's the balance here? There isn't any. So hopefully this is a start of the game being balanced, but I do feel like someone needs to sit down and actually re-look at this game, do some calculations and maths and think, okay, does this actually work as a balanced PvP competitive environment? Because right now, it's, there's just no point of even thinking about Fallout 76 like that. It's very far from it. It's also strange how they didn't tell us about these changes, but they did tell us that automatics were getting a 20% damage buff. But next time Bethesda, tell us about the nerfs as well, please. Obviously, I don't have the numbers for these changes, only my own experience from the last hours of playing the new patch and other people also posting their experiences on Reddit. But these are the changes and they do exist. I can tell you right now, the real issue with sneak attacks is not the sneak attack itself, but the two-shot legendary weapons that you have in the game, Bethesda. Or the broken black powder rifle that literally lets me one-hit kill everybody I come up against. I do think Bethesda needs to readdress their weapon stats and broken legendary effects before flat nerfing sneak attack and other mechanics like sneaking in the game, because otherwise you end up nerfing every single weapon even unintentionally, and you might solve one issue, but you create even more. I also feel like the enemies in Fallout 76 have become even more like bullet sponges, which just isn't fun at all. Next, we have the fourth change that was made. The unlimited experience exploit was patched. For those of you that don't know, you could repeatedly defuse traps to actually get unlimited experience. But to be honest, for anyone taking advantage of this, it really wasn't a fast way to level up anyway. 
but if you did defuse the grenade traps you would actually get unlimited grenades which is really good but now it's been patched also the cap glitch to get unlimited caps has also been removed to be honest this glitch is still doable there are other methods you can use to still get tons of caps but it's nowhere near as exploitable Another exploit they got patched was the searching containers exploit that would allow you to search containers for extra ammo or medical supplies and then exit the building for a loading screen and re-enter again and everything would be searchable again so you could literally just farm unlimited supplies from containers. And finally the fifth change to talk about. They have also somewhat patched server hopping in many regards. For example if you loot containers and then you get and then you go to another server, that container won't respawn for you. But server hopping still works in many ways, like if you find a weapon spawn and you just don't pick it up, and then server hop, there will be another weapon there. My issue really comes with the vendor reset though. The only way to obtain certain plans in Fallout 76 is by server hopping to vendors or farming them from events. But if you cannot do that, then it's impossibly time consuming to get certain weapon or armor plans for your character. To the point where it just isn't fun at all. There's no reliable way to farm them, it's all just RNG and random and you can't even trade with other players because you have no idea which players even have these plans. So right now it's just boring that you're being forced to take advantage of the server hop mechanic in the first place and it's just badly designed so I think you really need to rethink that or maybe even just have a set vendor inventory. So that's pretty much it for all the main secret nerfs that I've found so far in Fallout 76. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what you found personally and what you've also experienced. There's also been reports of the loot from boss type enemies who have that crown above their head actually giving a lot less loot than they did before. So it seems like they've made the game less fun in many of these secret patches, but they've just not told us about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I will leave my other Fallout 76 guides linked down below in the description for you guys to check out the video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, my stuff is in there. I need to go back.